Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video. This is 2E0 IQJ. So this radio here is an RS918 clone of a clone of a clone. I've shown this before and it's supposed to kick 15 watts. Now, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to update the software on this radio to the most recent version and we're going to check the power output. Does it now kick 15 watts when we update the software? So what we'll do, we'll take it up to the shack and I'll show you how to update the software on this radio. Okay, so to update the firmware on the radio, you're going to want the radio itself. If you run it off batteries, make sure the battery's got plenty of power. If not, you can run it off your power supply. Like I could have run it off there, but mine's running off a battery. And I've got a USB stick here. This is a 64 gig stick. It doesn't have to be that big. This is the only one I've got lying around, and this come off my BBC Micro. So I copied all the contents from the stick over to the computer, and then formatted this stick for FAT32, and then downloaded the file, and installed it onto the USB stick. So what I'll do, go over to the computer, and show you what files that I've downloaded and we'll attempt to uh, update this radio. Okay, so on the computer, this is the website we're going to be using df8oe.github.io forward slash uhsdr. And I can download the binaries here. So the firmware I'm going to download is versions 2.12.2. Now my bootloader is current at 504. I'm not going to download that one because I've got the current one installed on my radio. To install the bootloader, you need um, a separate program to do that, and I won't cover that in this video. And I think the program's only for Windows, and I don't have a Windows machine anyway. Lucky enough, my bootloader is, is a later version, 5.04. So once we click on 2.12.2, you'll get here, we're gonna click on MCF, and we wanna download firmware mchf.bin, which is 347 kilobytes, so it's not very big, big file you can save that to your desktop which I've already done there all we're going to do now is drag the file over to the USB stick and now my USB stick has been formatted for FAT32 so 64 gig stick I'm going to drag that over to there and it's copied it across now we're going to go back over to the radio and hopefully get the radio to update okay so to check the firmware and the bootloader of the radio, I'm going to press F1. We're going to use the dial here, which is RF. I'm going to go all the way down to System Info. So we can go down, and we're going to use the dial, which is RIT. We go down again. See here, it's got my firmware, which is nine. Uh, sorry, two point nine four two. Go down again, and there's my bootloader, which is five. 0.0.4 which is the most recent version now to update all we need to do is turn it off this is where it could go wrong insert our USB stick to the side of the radio press the band minus button and power it on It's going to say it's found it. The USB stick, if I zoom in, it should update the firmware. Finished. Remove devices, press band minus to reboot or power to switch off. Then, when it reboots the radio, you should see we're on the later version, 212. Let's check that again with the radio menu. Let's go down. System info. Go down again. Oh, check that out. Yep, there we go. Version 2.12.2. So it's done it. So let me go and plug it all into a power and SWR meter. And we're going to see if it's brought the power back up. Okay, so I've gone handheld with the camera. The radio is fired up. We've got the dummy load connected to the SX20 SWR meter. And a cable from the SX20 SWR meter into the radio. We're sitting there on 20 meters, so full power on FM. Give it a key up. I'd say about eight or so watts, so let's put it into sideband. Press the mode button. Upper sideband. Give it a test. Audio. Audio, check to check. Probably getting about five watts, between four and five watts 
on sideband. So let's go up to 10 meters. 28 megs and we're going to go to FM which is FM wide let's give it a key up and see what sort of power we're getting probably getting around about 4 or so watts on FM let's change the mode to sideband so we're going to go up a sideband let's see if we give it a key up audio check 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 audio Run about two, if I go a bit closer to the mic. Audio. Audio. So I'd say about two, two and a half to three watts on sideband on 10 meters. So what I need to do is uh, go back and watch my previous video and find out whether the power levels were different or were they the same or were they less or anything like that. I'll, if they were, then I'll post it um, on the screen. Let's go down to 24 megs. There we go, 24, uh, 616. Now you see there, it says 50 milliwatts. Now I don't know what I do. If I change the power, which is that one there, I can't change it anymore from 50 milliwatts. That's on 15 meters. Won't let me change it no matter what. I wonder if I can change the mode. I can change the mode, USB and PA. Let's try again. Again. It's not letting me change it. So what I need to do uh, in the week is go through the radio, see what the new software has done. Maybe the software will decode Morse code better. Don't know. Maybe it's made the, the radio um, less power. Maybe it's the same. But I'll look it up when I go to edit the video. I'll watch the other video and see what the power levels were. So we are the RS918 clone of a clone radio. We updated software using a USB stick formatted for FAT32. And I use a 64 gig stick. You can use any one you've got lying around, as long as it's formatted for FAT32, you'll be good to go. Now to update the bootloader, you need a separate program for that, and that only runs on Windows apparently, so I uh, didn't need to do that on this one because it's the latest version, and I showed you how to check the bootloader version uh, going through the menus. Now in a week I want to play around with different firmwares, get different firmwares off that website, load them onto this radio, and see what happens, see if it's going to bring the power up, and when I go to edit the video, uh, I'll check the previous video I did on this for the power output, which is about a year ago. I'll check that and see if the power output levels are any different, whether they're less, whether they're more, and I'll post it up on the screen. So anyhow, nice and simple to update this radio. If you found a bit of some music, know what to do, give a thumbs up, if you don't like the video, the button seems to work too. But as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. This is 2E0 IQJ73 for now.